my company is a federally funded research um, center, an FFRDC. Um, so we do basically research for the US Army and also the US government, the DOD, and uh, also different customers. Our main offices are in Pittsburgh, PA, in the USA. And also we have um, some offices uh, in the Washington DC area. If you look back at the evolution of programming language, in fact, what we, what we have at the beginning is the machine language. And after that, we abstract it more and more. So we have C, for example, that abstracts the machine language. After that, for critical uh, application, we had Ada. Ada abstracts a lot of things, like tasking, mutexes, a critical section, and so on. So after that, the model-based approach is just a way to represent the software and all these requirements using a component-based approach, a graphical view, and we really focus on the main concern, timing uh, requirement, for example, safety requirement, and so on. So this is why we need a model-based approach to really focus on what is important to validate it. So we need to have this capability, but also to have certifiable code. So when you have a code that will be executed for a plane, for example, you need to have a code that is compliant with the DO uh, 178C requirement and so on. Uh, this is why uh, also having a solution like Scalis can be good. The benefits of using such approach and using a SCAD is uh, the graphical representation. This is one big benefit. And when you use a graphical representation, you don't have to write code manually. And in fact, this is really useful because many people make mistakes when they write code manually. So this is one really good aspect. The second benefit I see is the strong semantics of the language. So having, for example, a, a strong typing, check the different types when I connect the component, also check that, for example, I don't have a cycle in the data flow and so on. This is pretty useful. It means that when you try to generate the code, it will very, uh, the, the tool will verify the system, it will check that you don't have any issue, any big issue uh, in, in your design. The third benefit, actually, is the certified code generation. You not only verify the system, but you generate code that is compliant with many requirements for safety critical systems. Last thing, at the Software Engineering Institute, we made a study to evaluate the, the cost saving you can have when you use a model-based approach, and we evaluate that you can cost not only on the development cost, but also on the maintenance cost. But so overall, on the life cycle of the system, you will save a lot, not only on the de development, but really on the maintenance. And this is really important for safety critical systems because you have to maintain the, them for years.